My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. Hello, you are welcome to episode number 97 of the 120 Days Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at these uh, three quick questions. It is not going to take our time. It is not every episode you do long classes. There are some for revision and for refreshing people pronounce, ladies and gentlemen. Now, a D losses due to a D current can be reduced by dash. Transformer are devices that step up or step down voltage at constant frequency. Transformers they definitely have number of tones in the primary and number of tones in the secondary. And transformers only work with AC, they do not work with DC. Now, I told you that electricity is generated at high voltage and low current. This is to reduce losses or LG losses in the line. If one current is very high, there will be a lot of heat in the system or in the wire. You see wires getting made in the mail. This is if current is too much because current is very hot. It can dry things and people. And that is why you see the heating effect of current has certain applications in your homes your electric or uh, cookers water boilers all these they make use of the heating effect of current because they know that current produces a heat or produces heat and this heat can be used in homes to warm stuffs so transformers they have tones in primary and secondary if the number of tones in the primary is lesser than that of secondary it implies that the number of tones in the secondary is more than that of the primary. At thought, it will be able to step down voltage. If for a transformer, the tones in primary are more than that of secondary, it will step down the voltage. Now, how about a situation where you have a transformer, the number of tones in the primary is the same as the number of tones in the secondary. At thought, the transformer will be acting as a conductor. It's not going to step up or step down. It will just conduct the voltage or the electric CT. Talking about the efficiency of transformers and efficiency of machines, you notice the reason why efficiency of machines is not 100% is because of friction. Machines, they are made up of moving parts. They contain moving parts. So when there is friction in this moving part, of course, the machine will not be 100% efficient. Your car, your engine, your tires and the rest, they have moving parts. Even your tire maintains grip with the ground as a result of friction at first when your tire is new the car moves very well and when you march brake it stops because there are grip like this to the ground but by the time you start moving the wearing of the tire it becomes very smooth and when you are in where there is water or uh, slimy area it will be hard for you to move because the, uh, the friction is not there the tire has uh, less wear and tear and the moving parts of your engine, there is friction. In fact, the reason you in your generator or cars you add engine oil is to reduce the friction between moving parts. There are moving parts. So to reduce that wear and tear, you make sure the oil in your generator or car is well serviced, is well warmed. When you wake up in the morning, you start your car, it comes up, you give it some time so that the oil will warm up and circulate around the system. Don't just start your car and start moving when it has not warm or when oil has not circulated. That friction at that particular point will be very, very high. And don't start your car in the morning and just warm it. Once the car starts, you press boom. No, you can blow up your engine or cause serious problem. When you wake up in the morning, go to your car, start it. Don't fire. Just start it. Let it work. Let's say for like a minute or two. And immediately you start the car, you notice that the sound will be very high. The sound will be somehow within 30 seconds a minute or two the sound will start coming down so the engine oil has circulated and the car is working fine and the friction is reduced in the system but definitely with time there will be wear and tear so the efficiency of your car will reduce if you get a car now after a year two three four years it will definitely not move or be efficient or the engine will not be as sound as it used to be the way you bought it so so long there is friction efficiency will reduce 
Now, a D loss due to a D current is reduced by laminating the core. When you laminate the core, there will be reduction in a D current. And here it says the electrobotic force in the secondary winding is increasing. Yes, because the number of tones in secondary is greater than that of primary. So it will be stepping up. So the EMF in the secondary will be greater than the one in the primary. And the instrument that measures both AC and DC is a moving ion ammeter. Moving ion ammeter can measure both AC and DC. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. See you in the next episode.